Hi, so if you're thinking of becoming an aircraft broker and starting your aircraft brokerage, here's five things that I wish I knew before I started. Number one in the list, you gotta be picky with the clients and the airplanes you choose to represent. I understand in the beginning you might, you might be tempted to work with everyone and anyone and you may want to pick up this airplane that's been beat up, been used as a flight school airplane, has 10,000 hours, but the reality is you don't want to have airplanes like that in your inventory because it is going to take you too damn long to sell an airplane like that. And from my experience, it might not always be like this, but clients that have that type of airplane are also a pain in the butt. So try to avoid that. You want to make sure that you research the airplane, you research the marketability of the airplane before you represent one. It's going to save you a lot of headache down the road. Trust me. Number two, always, always, always perform a title search before you represent an airplane. Honestly, this one is overlooked a lot. And I actually been in situations where I was representing an airplane and had a buyer. We we're about to close on the airplane. We were using an escrow company to take care of the transaction and the paperwork and there is a lien on the airplane. You know how embarrassing that is? Like to go and have to tell to your client, hey, I didn't do my job properly. Like I didn't make sure that the airplane doesn't have a freaking lien. Like he was, this person, like the client is excited. Oh wow, we're about to close on the deal and then this shows up. Don't you think that if this client is paying you uh, to be his broker or her broker, that they are going to expect you to take care of stuff like that? Absolutely they will. I mean, at the end of the day, they're paying you thousands of dollars. Okay, so make sure that you do a title search before you represent an airplane. It's going to save you a lot of headaches down the road. I've been there and yeah, it's not a good position to be in. Very, very embarrassing and depending on what shows up in the title, I mean, it might take weeks, might take months to fix that. Okay, so you don't want to be in a position where you have already put all this work marketing the airplane, uh, talking to clients, showing the airplane, and then something like this comes up. Number three, ever you're gonna use a photographer or videographer to take pictures or content of the airplane, make sure that they know how to walk around and how to be around airplanes because you don't wanna be in a situation where this person by accident hits a static wick. I mean, in those jets, like the bigger jets and stuff, like static wicks are super expensive. You don't want them to damage, well, you don't want them to damage anything because at the end of the day, you might be liable for that. So make sure if you're going to hire someone, make sure that they have done this before and that they're licensed and insured. Number four, always use an escrow company to take care of the transaction of the airplane. Why? Because as a broker, you want to clean your hands. You don't want to be responsible for money. You don't want to be responsible for paperwork. So it's better to hire a escrow account. Usually there's a fee to use an escrow account, but when I represent my clients, what I do is on the uh, aircraft purchase agreement, I state that that fee is going to be split by the buyer and the seller. And you know what? It makes the whole process so much easier and pretty much gives you peace of mind. So use an escrow account. And two that I recommend is AIC title and aerospace reports. Last but not least, consider getting general liability insurance and errors and emissions insurance. So pretty much if someone sues you because you damaged something, well, the general liability insurance could cover your butt with that. And then errors and omissions is pretty much, let's say you get sued for not doing your job properly, or you hired someone that didn't do their job properly and you get sued for that. Well, errors and omissions insurance could take care of that sort of thing. So general liability is more for like damage, or injury and errors and emissions is like for not doing your job properly, which that's why I have Aircraft Broker Academy to teach you everything that I know about aircraft sales so you're not in a position like that, okay? So if you are trying to become an aircraft broker and start your own business, consider visiting my website, Aircraft Broker Academy. It's currently in a pre-sale. So what that means is that the course is now fully uploaded. There's actually some content in there and I am selling it at a pre-sale price. And not only you, you're gonna get access to the already uploaded content, but you're also going to get two hours of consulting with me so we can set you up 
so you can start your business and start making that commission. So visit my website and I'm looking forward to see you in the course. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was valuable and I will see you in the next one.